Yo, 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 my Star Citizens and New Gamers. Welcome back to another episode of Star Citizen with me, Menix. And in today's episode, I'm going to be doing some money making from almost nothing again. And uh, I just want to say thank you to Jason Alano for the 5 million that he deposited in my account the other day after he saw my video where I had no money. Um, after Chris Roberts came along with his with his band of bailiffs and stole my Caterpillar, the tank, which tankers uh, helped me to get. Um, it, I've been able to go and get that. But I did need to be flat broke to make this video. I've been trying to make it for a couple of days. I am very grateful for that. Um, so just just so don't, don't sound great, ungrateful in any way. Uh, just saying thank you for that, Jason. And so, yeah, so I'll, I'm flat broke again. I'm going to be making some money. Um, and the way I do it when I've got no money, I'll show you guys. So it's good for new players. So we hope you like this video, guys. If you do like this video, don't forget to hit that pointer, tickle that like button. Don't forget to hit that bell and subscribe notification for more videos as we drop them. And um, yeah, let's um, let's get on to this one. So I don't know if you guys know, just recently, there have been changes in your inventories. You now have an inventory for your local like in Lovell but for some reason they've also started adding it to the Kelto RX places and the medical centers and so just be aware that when you come to a place like a medical center that you might not show you might not show your inventory in the place you're at when you're in the medical center um, it's not a bug it's something they've, they've done they've changed I put a video out explaining it and I'll put that in the top um, corner now as a card so you can see that what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys it so if I come in into the Maria one and you see how now my local has changed to the Maria Pure of Heart so if I was to buy something in here in the, in the Maria, Maria Pure of Heart and it went into the local inventory. Let me quickly show you. If I go to the pharmacy and quickly buy something. So maybe if I buy a quick med pen here. Okay, that. Have I actually? Yeah, I've got stuff on. So I'll say if I bought that and it's in here in my local inventory, you'll see now um, I've got a Maria Pure of Heart inventory and I've got that in there. If I go back out of here. into this area again we're still in the Maria Pur of Heart and now we're in Lovell so you see now I've got no inventory so just be aware that when you do spawn in a hospital and you don't see your inventory it's not a bug you just got to come out of the hospital to see it now the, the, the issues with this is having to go backwards and forwards what if you wanted to buy some stuff from here and then and then you had to go out there to put on a uniform uh, or something like that and you know and then you'd have to come back in here so i just want to give out another tip and this one goes thanks to merc murray and what he said basically is once you've got a ship here you should be able to select your ship here in this section where we've got this Muria Pure of Hearts. Once you've got a ship here, you'll be able to select your ship here, as long as it's got an inventory, and select that where you want it to go, basically. And then you can um, put your stuff into there. But I've got no ship here at the moment, so... There we are. So that's that. Uh, so, yeah, just be aware, guys. Just be aware of that. That There, there is two inventories now. I don't know if it's a quality of life or whether it's just going to be... A pain in the bum. Right, so let's get into this one. So what am I going to do today is I've got no money unless someone sent me some more. <laughs> so I've got 1,700. And I'm over here at Lawville because I came over and bought the Caterpillar, which um, you'll see in the video. Uh, me buying the Caterpillar, uh, thanks to, uh, to Jason Alano. And... I had to buy something else as well and try and bit make myself broke. Basically, I had to launder the cash, get rid of it, so I could do this video. But I am grateful, Jason. I really am. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my little ship, which is the little red, I call it. Uh, I'm going to get little red, my medical ship. And I'm just going to do some, I'm just going to run some box missions. And this is how I start when I earn money. I want to try and get myself to around 50 thousand to a hundred thousand so then i've got some money then for 
for doing some cargo running. So what I'm going to do is show you basically how I would get to that 50,000, that 100,000. And then hopefully you guys can take that on board and on board and new players themselves then can also take this in and see how I make that money. I've explained this a couple of times to a few people that have been new to the game. I even did a Discord chat with somebody where I was watching his screen and going through this with him. And so I thought I'd just make a quick video on it myself while I've got no money after um, Chris Roberts um, stole 800k from me by having dodgy cargo selling machines and then a bunch of pirates decided they wanted to um, relieve me of my other 800,000 of cargo. So that left me with no money until Chris, until um, Jason gave me that 5 million, which allowed me to get my Caterpillar, which is what I was doing the cargo running for in the end anyway. So I was able to get that and I can do some missions with that, but obviously I need money to be able to buy cargo to, to put into that. So this is how I start to get money. There is other ways people will do things like bounty missions, bunker missions and stuff like that. But as a new player, this what I'm doing here is one of the easiest things to do. You don't have to worry about your piloting skills as much and fighting and, and all that stuff. So here we go. Right. So I did have my Pisces here, so I'm wondering why I couldn't put that, unless I had to retrieve it first before I could put it on it. I'm not too sure. I've also got a Caterpillar here, which I just bought. Welcome to the ASOC Vehicle Retrieval System. The Taurus, Prospector Talon, Vulture, Caterpillar, Buccaneer, Mustang Gamma, Mustang Alpha, Arrow. Well, what is the ship of the month for this week? This month. Not too sure what it is. Ship of the month, we'll have to have a look. I can't see anything in here. And I see it's done until later on. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my Pisces, and that's what I'm gonna use to start, because it's a quick ship, quick in and out ship, and it carries boxes. And then what I'm gonna do is in my contracts here, you'll pick up a, a beginner's contract. So this one here, Red Wing seeking new pilots. And what it is, is you're gonna pick up one play, one package and then you're gonna drop it off at another place. And then this will get bigger where you've got three packages to, to do and stuff like that. And the money is not amazing, but what we do while we're doing, while we do this is what will earn you the money as well. So we have currently 1,745 and we'll see what we get when we uh, finish this. I'm going to try and get to 50,000 minimum and see how long we can get that done in. So another thing to note here, if I put my cruise control on, as you see, I've put it on there. If I push forward on my stick or if I push W, the cruise control comes off. So what you've got to do is not have, not be pushing forward on your stick when you do your cruise control and that will then keep that on. And the moment you push forward, that cruise control will come back off. So here we are coming into land and because I'm in a small ship I'll generally just land nearby the the things. So like here where there's a couple of them, we just land in here. Turn engines off. Powering down systems offline. Right, so another thing to mention here, guys, is if you are a new player, you're going to have a ship that might not have it's the same cargo. So what? have a look here and make, just make sure what your cargo is. And just take that off now so I don't need that. Just have a look here what your cargo is and how fast it fills up because on things like the Aurora, it fills up really fast when you're looting. So just keep an eye on that, guys, is my advice. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to loot around first before I grab the box. And what I'm going to do is just move stuff over to my local. If you shift if you shift and click, it will move it over. I'll always take water as well and some food just in case. And what I'm doing is I'm just taking like stuff that I can sell. That's what I'm taking. The three buildings done, and now the last one. You'll generally find about four buildings around each of these locations. There might be some with only three, but most of them will have four. Is here. Just grab that. Let's go and deliver it.
Turn engines on. Starting pre-flight protocols. All systems on course. Close. Close doors. Alright, so let's go and take this. So I forgot to do something there, you probably feel that like actually I might still be I, I can I can do it actually if I go back down. So I sh another quick tape if I show you. I go back down to where I was. You may not have to even come this close. The moment that thing comes up that you're in an armistice zone, might even be able to do it from here. But I'll do it from here. The moment that comes up, you can actually access your inventory from here. There, I totally forgot about that. And what I need to do is I move all that over to my ship now. And like I said, just keep an eye on your capacity of your vehicle. And we're at two percent now. There we This time I'm going to land on the pad because I need to get some quantum fuel. Actually, I don't need to get quantum fuel just yet, so I'll, I'll be fine, actually. So, first thing I will do is drop off the package and get that sorted. And then we'll do the rest from there, then. Turn engines off. Powering down systems. <laughs> No, package. Yeah. Well, package. Make sure you always close your thing at the back because someone will just take it. Like it's a bit overgrown here, doesn't it? Drop off. Yes. Cool. And there it is. First job done. Three grand in the bank. So, let's have a look. So we got four grand, 4,700 now, as you see. Some money in the bank. So we'll pick up another job in a minute. I'm just gonna go and loot around again. And this is basically what we'll be doing. Do a couple of these jobs, do some looting, and go from there. Just make sure you go into the local, take that, take that, take the shoes, take the water. Into 
Take that, take that, take the shoes. I'll leave some water for in case other people are around this way. So red boxes more will have more valuable stuff in it. This helmet here is going to be worth 2,600 or 2,700. Let's move all this lot over. I could have just hit the move all there, by the way. I generally do that with the red boxes, just hit move all. I don't do it with this because I don't want everything in there. So these are probably worth about 300-ish. These will be worth 100. These could be a couple of hundred, maybe two grand, a grand maybe. About 100 for the shoes. Two places done. So I don't see a spaceport around here, so... Oh, there's only three buildings here. Unless there's one over there. It could be actually. Or is that it there? That's it there. Another red box there. Another red box here. I say I'll just generally move everything from the red boxes. Even put it on. Thing is, when you put it on, you'll get this now. This problem that I have. I have to keep making sure I switch my local here and not the personal. Put them on as well. If you see a box here of anything, don't pick it up because it'd be someone's mission. Take that, could be worth a couple of grand. Take the water, take the true, ball, true holes. There we are. So just one place left to loot. And then we'll pick up our next mission. So this is the little space port, the platinum base space port, and for any new players watching this, in here you can bring up a couple of ships, it's not just land vehicles, you can actually bring up some small ships as well. Welcome. So I'll show you. Vehicle retrieval system. So I can bring my Pisces here, Dragonfly here, the Mule, the Talon, so, and the N50 Interceptor. So there's a couple of things you can actually pick up at these small stations. Um, if you need to, you're never stranded. Goodbye. Oh, see again, I've done that. I've done it. I put it in the wrong thing. Let's put that over there. Exactly like I said I would. Stay that into the local, that into the local, that into the local. There we are. What are these? Orbit mining. So there's four stacked orbit mining so that could be like a grand there or even 500 and before you know it you'll get 50 grand easily So what we're going to do now is we're going to pick up the next job. I'll get in the ship first.
in the new version 3.21 that actually lights up when you go over it now this panel will light up when you go over it so let's get in the bed quick so let's make, do my medicals I do have water and stuff like that in there that I can use. So let's pick up a job. Oh, make sure I move all my stuff as well to my vehicle from the local here. Let's move all of that. That's on the vehicle. So we're at 7% on the vehicle now. Contracts manager. So basically what you're going to do is you've got your Delph here. And what, what you're going to try and do is you're going to try and have your Delph go up. This, these go up. So where did we just do? We did. We did. Red wall. All in here. So we've got red wall here and we can add that to our favourites and that'll put it up at the top. And we've got a little bit of green you see there. We've got that little bit of green. And we've got the applicant done. And so we're into J J junior runner now. So we're going to get access to more jobs. And then the next one will be this one and you'll get access to more higher jobs. And you could be looking at 45, 50 grand jobs in this one. Right. So we've got that. So let's pick up a job here. And if you miss out on a job, then that will go down as well. So you can see now we've got totally different things now. So we can get 15 grand from this one. And then got nine grand for these ones. You've got twos and ones. So this one's a four. Where you're going to get 15 grand or 12 grand for this four here. Six grand for this two. And nine grand for this three. And then you've got 15 grand and then you've got the single ones there as well. So it's up to you which ones you want to do depending on how much time you've got. So I'm going to go and get this one, two, three, four, five, 15 grand job here. And let's have a look. So we've got Pinewood, Anderson, Anderson. No guard. And then we'll have a look on here and see if there's any of that go to the same places. So none of them go to the same places apart from two of them coming here. So let's have a look what else they've got. So there's a going two of them picking up from Pez Bez deck and one from the fan. Not all to the same. I look at look at them and go like, what can we look at? Are they gonna to go to the same like? So because we could pick that one up there at Norgard. And um which one? No, this one, two five, two, three. So we could pick up this one here at Hurston, Stanhope Hurston, drop it off at Norgard, pick up at Norgard, and then, so that's what you look at, basic stuff like that. So we've got Norgard, Perlman, Ryder, Anderson, Perlman, Sol Magda. So we could, if we're picking up, we can drop off. And that's a 12 grand one. And then we've got the 12 grand one, two here at Anderson. So I'm going to pick this this last one up, this first one up here for 15 grand. That one's going to Norgard Perlman, Anderson, Anderson. So we've got three picking up here at Edmund. That's a good one because we we three places. So we're only going to three places here, and then we're picking and then we're dropping one off at, at Edmund. So this one's a good one. So I'm going to accept this one and explain it. So we're going to pick up first. Uh, we want to be picking these three up at Edmund, but we're dropping one off at Edmund. So we've got to go to this 6-3 here. So wherever 6-3 is here. Um, so we're no, 6 or 2 sorry. The 6 or 2 from Woodruff, we've got to, we've got to drop it off at Wood. Um, we've got to... So we're going to two from Woodward, Woodruff. Oh, there's the pickups. What am I doing? So 
Edmund here, we're going to be picking up from, dropping off at Edmund, this six, this 9-4. So we've got to go to Bezdek first on Ariel and pick that up first. And then we've got the hand where we've just been not long back. And then we've got Woodruff. So we're going to go to Bezdek first, pick up this one. And then we're going to go to Edmund, drop it off and pick up these three. And then we'll go to Woodruff to pick up that one. And then we'll go and drop these off on the way. Cool. That's it. So our first place is going to be Bezdek and then Edmund. Bezdek on Ariel. Let's do this. And this will be 15 grand on top of everything else we've got for looting. Turn ship on. Starting pre-flight protocols. All systems operational. Engines online. Take off, go to the aerial. So let me get to aerial first. And we're going to Bez deck first. Put that round. And be careful coming into the moons because you can you can approach real quick and just make sure you've got a handle on your ship because some ships won't slow down quick like that one just did like this one just did some ships will keep going for longer especially bigger ones so again I see four places to, to loot And I'll pick up the package last. Turn engines off. Powering down systems. If you're worried about your loot on your ship, you could transfer that over to your local, by the way. So I'm going to loot first. Uh, but yeah, if you're worried about your loot on your ship and your ship might blow up or whatever, you can transfer it to the local here and then transfer it all back later on. Before you leave. So we've got five deliveries. This is going to take us up to around 20 grand. Hopefully by then we will have enough loot to maybe take us close to that 50 grand, which we'll need then for cargo running. Now, I understand if you don't have a cargo running ship at the moment, you're going to have to keep doing this until you can maybe rent an Andromeda. So you'd probably need something like... Oh, maybe... So I think the Andromeda is around 70 to 80k, so you'd need that, and then you'd probably need another 50k on top of that. And when I came in, I'm sure I saw a landing around here somewhere where is it Let's see it thought it was over there And you're not always going to find boxes in these places. And you might find them open like that. It means somebody's been in here not long back. Okay, make sure we're in our local. So it looks like someone's been here not long ago. Because that box is open. They could still be around here. Hopefully they don't take our package. So again, we'll take that, we'll take that. Went in that building there, didn't we? Looks pretty empty in here, so I'm just going to grab the package and go in this one.
There it is. Let's go over to that try that. Sometimes people miss these ones. To the local, take that, take that, take that, take that, and that. I always put some of these as well. There we are. All of that. And like I said, I've already got a cargo ship, so you would need to keep going if you haven't got a cargo ship yet. And you can rent an Andromeda then at places like New Barbage. Uh, Orison, or you could rent a Cutty Black for around 30 grand, and that does about 40 cargo. That'll do you to get you off the ground as well. And you can get those at many places like the cargo centers and that. And I'll show you that basically when I'm selling stuff. And also, where you sell this loot matters. So that there's a helmet that I pick up and it's worth around two grand, uh, two thousand six hundred or something like that. But if you sell that pack, if you sell that a, a, on a planet, you'll only get one thousand six hundred. So you're gonna lose a thousand on it. See, there's another box there. Now I don't know. That's somebody else picking that. I'll be. So we got the first one. Now, if you're smart, you could pick up a couple of jobs that are all going to the same places and pick up the boxes. So, like, I could have had two jobs and picked up that box and, and earned a bit more money as well. So let's start with that, because that's going to go to Edmund anyway. And don't forget to move your stuff across to your vehicle. So, it's 9% on that now. Turn engines on. Starting pre-flight protocols. All systems operational. So it's gone. Takeoff complete. Track landing gear. We track landing gear. We track landing gear. Close doors. So the next place we go now is Edmund. Which is... I think it's on here. There. And what we're going to do is drop that one package off here and then pick up uh, a couple of more. Three more, I think. Where are you? Where are you? So what I've done here, guys, is I've just pushed this forward to my last delivery. I'm just doing my last delivery now. And the reason I didn't go through it all is because it's all the same. It's just me picking up the box, putting them on my ship and looting the areas and then dropping off the, the, the package and looting them areas, making sure I put it all on my ship. I have missed, I think, two places where I've not been able, where I forgot to put the inventory on my ship. Uh, but that's not an issue. Um, I wanted to sort of cut a lot of it out because we've still got to go and sell this stuff and I didn't want to make the video too long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push this down where I'm landing and it's the last delivery. I'll probably cut out some of the looting as well and just head to the space station from there.
powering down systems. So here we are, guys. Last place to do this. I'm going to drop off the package first to get that started, get the funds in the bank, just in case we get a crash or anything like that. Come up. Oh. I'm going to drop that off here. Get this dropped off, get the funds in the bank, and then we can start looting. There we go. Step away. And there we go. Last job done. So we now should have 19 grand. We do. There we go. So time to loot this area now. And that's it, basically. We're done. I think I missed one area of looting. Not that I missed it. I forgot to put it on my ship. I can't remember which one it was, so I can't go back and get it. But it'll be there from when I'm hanging around and doing stuff anyway so it's not a big issue that thing over there to, uh, no. this one that one i'll do that one first Turn engines off. Powering down so what we're going to do now is transfer all that stuff to our local, just in case we get 30k or anything like that. And we don't want all that stuff in. It's not be there. So it's all been moved over. Now we can go and sell all this stuff. And the reason I come to a space station is you get better prices at the space station for this, some of the helmets and stuff. does make a difference where you sell it so like sell all the medical stuff at the medical centers sell the cargo stuff at the cargo centers and obviously the clothes at the clothes center because sabo there is called Ship away. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. Someone else can use the pad. Please. Go. So let's start selling some stuff. So first place I'll go is to the medical place. Sell whatever medical stuff I can. You'll get a better price here. You see. Over at the pharmacy. Let's sell. We're going to If anyone sees a patient, if anyone has seen a green and black carry all, okay. please contact the front desk. Would you please contact the front desk to let us know where you spotted them? There's a problem. There is a problem. There's a problem. So, you have two inventories as we said earlier on. So now I'm going to have to take some of the medical stuff that I want to sell and sell that at... to sell at the medical place. So like any lifeguards, I'll have to move over. Lifeguards, move over. So let's see if I can filter this out even more. Custom. Um, utilities. No. Let's 
So, what's that? Let's just grab all the life cards. I'll put them in my legs. And then other, nothing, substance. And more weapons, clothing. Can be done at clothing store. Um, uh, so that's cool. We're all good. Right. So now we can go to the medical center and sell that from our leg gear. Med station four. Head nurse to med station four. This is a reminder that patients and guests are not attention emergency staff. I can even take that now that I'm in the local there, I can drop that into the Kelto RX there. And then we go to sell. And they've got the Kelto RX there. And if you click quick sell, you'll only sell one. So you have to click it and then click sell. And then you can go to max and it'll sell them all there. And we're going to get 1,300 for that. So we're at 19,700. We get 1,300 for that. See what we get at the end. So there we are, 21. Let's keep going. Security. We're going to go to the cargo center here. Put trolley in the way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab these helmets like this and I'm going to stack them. We've got five of those here now. Let's sell these. Some of these jackets could probably be sold at the clothing store for more. So the 640 here, we'll keep an eye on that. 530 for that here. You see these helmets, 2.7k. Now if we click on that and we go sell, we can sell all of them. Five of them for 13,000. We almost got more just for the helmets than we did for the whole job that we did. So let's have a look. Let's get down to categories. And we'll go down to personal weapons. And we'll start quick selling some of these. So some of these ones you can't sell. These these coloured ones. Let's just quick sell. What ones we can sell. I don't think I can stack these. Let me see if I can stack them. Utilities. No, I don't look like I can stack them. So I'll go through these and then we'll see where we're at the end. Sell that. So like if we go down to the attachments this time, we can click that, sell, max two. So 
So, so one of them. Sometimes it's easier just to go in and um, stack them. Do that. So we go to utilities. Stack down. They won't probably chuck in anywhere then. Okay, so not let me do the stack. Okay. Loads of them to do. That's the thing. Where are they? Are there? Have been other systems. Utility. So, just have to do it this way. More room at zero anyway. So, let's do this. Mine attachment, max, so. True, true, true beam. So when you're doing the max here, it's just the ones that are stacked. It's not going to do all of them in your inventory. Just the ones that are stacked. So you might have stacks of three, stacks of four, stacks of five. So now we've just got the multi tools left. So many of them. So many multi tools. Not worth anything, so. Alright, so let's have a look at what else we've got to sell. Gloves and anything like that. It's like these bully hats. Quick sell, we'll do a couple of those. 144. Quick sell. Um, some of these might be better off sold at the clothing place. I'll ch I'll leave one and just check it. Seven hundred for these helmets. Keep an eye on them. Three fifty, three seventy, three fifty. We'll check them upstairs. Gloves. 900, check upstairs. These boots. 
check some of these at the clothing place, and then if we can't sell them, we'll bring them back down here. So we'll probably come back down here in a minute. 390 for those. Okay. Sell some of the arm in here. I've also got on here that needs to take off. Put them in the local. Don't need them. So we got all just the got left is that backpack. Now we need the cassaba, the cassaba, Law's place. If there is one in here. I'm not too sure. I can't remember what these were. I think there was around the same price downstairs. Can't remember if there was na oh, um, 600 downstairs. I'll keep one and check.
I sold them for zero. I'm even selling these. That's why, because they stacked. So much junk. Stacked again. So much junk. <laughs> Probably sold them down at the mining place. Cargo place. I'm not too bothered. I'm just, I've, I've made enough, I think. I'm just selling now because I've made enough. Okay, so we're gonna go and check again the cargo place and then that's it, we should be done. Ready to your expectations from the everyday what have we got left? So let's turn, turn the Phillips off. From so basically these are all multi-tool things. And the med pen. That's it. I don't think we need to sell anything else. Go downstairs anyway. We've still got a couple of things here to sell. How oh, done? We just sold all this lot. Just sold all this lot.
So it looks like there's an issue here. Like, it's showing stuff that I've already sold upstairs. So if I was to quick sell that, it's selling it. So... Has it, got, has it stopped it now? Yeah, cool. Okay, cool. That sorts it out. So, there we go, guys. There are multi-tools left. So, we've got 65,000. So, guys, after that, selling all the stuff at the places we've now got 65,000 so we started off with 1,700 so we've made 64 grand basically all in all in that 64 grand 19 of that was made from no 18 of that was made from uh, the, the job itself the two jobs itself so we made about just around 50 grand just in the loot alone now it's took me about two hours to do this and I know that's not the best sort of ratio of earning money, 50 grand, 50, 60 grand in two hours. But if you've got nothing else other than a ship to be able to do this with, then that's the best option for you. If you don't, if you don't want to do fighting and bounties and stuff like that, then obviously this is going to be a better option. So that's how I start earning money. Now I've got 60 grand now, so I can now go and take some cargo grab one of my cargo ships and start taking some cargo but if you haven't got a cargo ship you can actually go and rent a cargo ship let me show you that quickly So if you don't have a cargo ship, you can do that and get yourself up to like 100 grand, come to one of these places like this, or on the planets they have them as well. And you could take a freelancer, which is about 40 cargo, something like that, and it might even be 60 cargo. And does it say on it? It doesn't say on it. But you could rent that for 31,000. And so even with the with what I've got, I'd still have 50, uh, 31,000 left, sorry. You can rent it for... 33,000 and I'd still have 31,000 for cargo or you can get the cutlass back and have a bit more that has about 40 cargo in that so there is the option of doing that if you wanted to or if you wanted to do bounties you could maybe then pick up maybe an Avenger Titan or something like that and that has about 8 cargo in the Avenger Titan so you can still make money from that as well and so that's what my next step would be is to go and start earning money from that from cargo running and um, yeah so hopefully this helps some guys new players and stuff like that with how to earn money if you don't want to do fighting or anything like that bounty hunting and you just want to just have a, an easy time a couple of hours earn a bit of money then that's what you can do just grabbing the jobs and building up that rep and that's it basically from there Once you build up your rep and stuff, you'll get you'll get better jobs coming through. So let's have a look at our delve. And we'll have a look at the which one was it? Unify, the red one. Oh. So as you see now, we'd build that up and build that up until so three or four more jobs would get to the runner and build up this. And then we'd start getting more money. And once you get to your runner, then you'll get bigger jobs in here then the 15,000, 9,000, depending on how much time you've got to do it and what, how much you want to do. But then you'll get jobs at around 45, 50 grand that will send you to bunkers and places like that where you will have to do some FPS for the person shooting uh, to get the boxes. But you're getting good money for it. So hopefully that helps some guys out. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to take that point. So tickle that like button. Don't forget to hit the bell and subscribe notification for more videos. If you've made it this far and you are subscribed, drop a comment in with your referral code and we'll pick a referral code at the end um, to, to go on our next video. And yeah, so hopefully you like that one, guys. And we'll see you guys out in the verse.